This happens in uh, Maricopa County. Uh, that's the cra crazy county with Sheriff Joe who's running amok. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're going to see he ha the prisoner is in a striped outfit like old school. That's Sheriff Joe's genius, right? Uh, he's like, ha ha, yeah, we'll show you. And he has to wear pink underwear and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, very clever, right? Mm -hmm. So, but the problem, the person causing the problem here is not the prisoner. It's the deputy. Okay. It's the law enforcement official. So let's watch a little bit of this video. Um, All right, so now you see that guy hanging out in the background, right? The law enforcement guy in the, in the back, in the left-hand side. Uh, that's Mar Maricopa County uh, Sheriff's Office detention officer, okay? Um, it's Officer Adam Stoddard. So now they're having this hearing about this prisoner, and that, that's the incredibly weak judge. Uh, I'm going to tell you about her in a, a little bit later. So now everything's totally normal. Nobody, nothing's happening. Here there, she's def the defense lawyer is making her case. Then all of a sudden this guy starts creeping up, right? He's rolling up on him. So what's going on here? So now that he's in a weird space. Now what he starts doing is, and so that catches the prisoner's attention, right. the defendant's attention. He's like, because he can tell when a cop's behind him. Right. right. Now I'm making assumptions about the defendant. I have no idea, right? But he's thinking like, this is kind of weird, right? So that this the guy starts reading the defense case. That's a folder for the defense attorney, uh -huh. and he's reading one of the letters. Okay, now that's really weird, and you think maybe he's bored, but he still shouldn't do that, right? It's about to get weirder. Now, that's Officer Adam Stoddard. The guy that's going to come to the picture, that he's just waving him in, is Deputy uh, Francisco uh, Campillo. So he waves him in. He says, look, 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 this letter's pretty cool. This is pretty interesting. Check this out. Now watch the, the defendant. He's like, hold up now. Hold up. What's going on? He's, you can tell he's saying something to them. Yeah. So he tells the, the deputy, go take this letter. Now the defendant says, wait a minute. It just took something. And the defense lawyer didn't get it. And listen up now. Turn it up. Okay, then they go up, and I'll tell you what happens later, because the rest of it is like seven minutes long and, and not that interesting. So, um, this guy, he just gave the document, you can keep it rolling. They, he gave the document uh, uh, to his deputy, and he said, go photocopy it. And the guy, and the defense lawyer, they like it happened right in front of them. You just saw it, right? Right. And and they could have caught him in time, but the defense lawyer didn't understand what the defendant was saying, and so the deputy just walked out with a piece of paper. Uh huh. And so when the attorney finally figured out what's happening, he, like this is all on camera, so the officer couldn't lie about it. He was like, "Yeah, we took it." But why? why so did why did you take it? No one knows. Now here's the maddening part. Mm -hmm. That judge right there never asks him. She's like, no, I'm sorry, that's going to be part of a different proceeding. Uh, we're not in that proceeding. Let's continue with this proceeding. And I'm like, what? Continue with this proceeding? What are you talking about? I'm like, just ask the guy. Ask him, why did you take it? And what was it? Yeah. And where the hell is it? Right. At the very end of this, at the end of the nine minutes, finally the deputy comes back and gives him the piece of paper, the letter. Uh -huh. And I think, so he already photocopied it and they give the letter back, right? And then it, she says, uh, no, 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 uh, these people are I in my courtroom all the time and it's their job to make sure the security's okay and they have wide latitude in making sure security's all right. But security what, what the hell did that letter on the defense attorney's desk have anything to do with security? Mm -hmm. That's nothing but a flat out lie. Now look, they're in the same courtroom all the time and so she's going to want to look out for those people, right? Mm -hmm. I get that. But that, there are bounds of reason to that. And don't give me this bullshit about a different proceeding. If you're a judge in that case and you just saw that, and the guy just admitted that he took a piece of paper off the defense attorney's desk, what you do is you ask him, what was it, why did you take it, and where is it? Because he, he just handed it off right. 30 seconds ago. I mean, there's so much we don't know about this video. We don't know what this case is about. We don't know what was on that letter. We don't know why he took the letter. We don't know what his motives were. 
it seems awkward, but there's a small possibility that it makes some sense? No, there's no possibility. Under no circumstances is an officer allowed to come and take a document from a defense attorney's desk mm -hmm. without asking her. Under no circumstances. Now, that defendant, that might have been his lucky day, ironically. Because now, I mean, if I'm the judge in the case, I'm like, you're telling me you just went ahead and basically stole the defense attorney's letters? No, nah, you know, that's tainting the trial in a big, big way. Now, if the defendant is guilty, I got no interest in that. You just screwed everything up, okay? Uh, I mean, we don't know if he's guilty or not, but maybe he walks on that, right? So maybe he saw something there that he thought he was going to use in a different case. Mm -hmm. You know, who knows? But I know it's not okay, and I know it's not legal. And, there, I mean, it's, there, everybody's hunky-dory about this. Yeah. Now, he, here's my point about power, right? <laughs> if the defendant had done that instead of the police officer, mm -hmm. here's what would happen instead. Don't chase me, bro! Don't chase me! Okay, I mean, they'd have strapped his ass down, he'd have gotten tackled, they'd have been like, look at this defendant stealing on, on videotape! When a cop does it, everybody's like, oh, that's cool, it's cool. Different proceeding. We'll handle it later. But I'm dying to know what the cop's motive was. Like, what was he going to do with that document? But that's why I can't stand that judge. How do you not ask him? It's crazy not to ask him. And the reason they don't ask him is because they're power, and they want to protect one another. Right. It's not a conspiracy. It's, not, it's normal. They are in the same courtroom every day. But power protects itself. You know, prosecutors usually go into the same courtrooms a mm -hmm. lot, right? Mm -hmm. Especially like state prosecutors and stuff like that. So maybe there's a possibility that the prosecutor struck a deal with that police officer and... Well, if that's the case, then they're all in a lot of trouble, right? Uh, but it looks like he acted by himself, but we have no idea. And now I'm really looking forward to that different proceeding where they find out why the hell he did that. But now, the reason why I'm so frustrated at the, at the judge for not asking the questions on the spot is, days later, weeks later, he's got oodles of time to make up a story and to get back up for that story, to go talk to the deputy, make sure they're on the same page, mm -hmm. uh, you know, lawyer up, et cetera, et cetera. If you ask him on the spot, why'd you do it, and then the deputy comes back in the room and you ask, why'd you do it, you're going to find out the truth a hell of a lot better. Mm -hmm. But since they're all part of the same group, they don't want to know the truth. And so, look, it's part of how the little guy gets screwed. And it, it's not, like I said, it's not some weird c conspiracy and ha ha, he, they're, they're going to get you all the time, etc. It's part of normal human relations. But that's what we got to look out for. You know, when government, when people are in power, we got to watch them more than we watch anybody else. If you like this little clip, you'll love the whole show. It loops 24-7 on theyoungturks.com. Go and check it out right now.